Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and we got an exciting video here. We got Rake's new 2021 models. This is the Rake M875TZ titanium frame lock and N690 steel. Awesome, awesome knife. I do have videos on this one, but let's get into these, ladies and gentlemen. All right, the first one, we have the Rake M126TZ. Now, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I link everything down in the description. So if you want to see more knives or these models, check out the links down in the description. And I will also link Rake's website down there as well. This is a titanium frame lock with a deep carry clip. 154 cm blade steel beautiful tanto with a nice bead blasted finish what a gorgeous tanto we have good access to the lock bar so it's easy to unlock we have a ball bearing caged bearing pivot nice snappy detent nice and smooth you can hear it when it locks back into the closed position very good detent nice and smooth and these are fresh out of the box remember so the, the you know they only break in more and more over time very very smooth i like how it sits perfectly inside the the handle right there nice and centered it has the beta lock for the betas just joking but it does have a lock right here that will lock you well, it'll stop you from unlocking the knife. So if you are going to do something a little tougher on the knife and you're worried that you might twist the lock or, you know, spin a little bit and unlock it, you can always put on the beta lock so then you don't have to worry about it disengaging. Nice and clicky. And the disengagement, or let's check up the lockup without. Oh, yeah. Very, very solid. Very, very nice. Let's check out the next one. So the next one is the M661TZ G10 drop point blade titanium frame lock with a deep carry clip. Hidden lanyard hole back there and then we have a G10 backspacer because I'm guessing the blade is very deep here because you see how it hides inside there so we don't want the blade exposed back there and then you can see a nice good size stop pin i love seeing a good size stop pin now with these knives you want to be careful for the lock bar don't put pressure on the lock bar try to keep your fingers around the lock bar and then it's very very snap Ooh -hoo -hoo. very very smooth on the drop Good access to the lock bar. Beautiful access to the lock bar. Very easy to disengage. Lockup is very solid. The thumb studs are very unique on this one. Now, very, very snappy. Now, they're only one side. So, it's going to be thumb deployment only. And... The, uh, the grip is about, I could get a four finger grip on it. It is a smaller knife. So this is going to be more of a discreet carry, a very, very lightweight, but nice geometry. Um, you see the swedge right here that uh, reinforces the tip strength. So you can have a nice strong tip and 154 CM blade steel. Awesome. All right. Now they have another version of this one in a worn cliff so the same knife same everything except for it's a worn cliff blade which is very cool still 154 cm bead blasted finish i really like this one and they put a little divot right there you can kind of lock yourself in for those utility cuts and you still have a four finger grip everything's the exact same keep your fingers off the lock bar very snappy great action Let's check the centering nice and centered no detent lash locked up very very solid awesome um steel lock bar insert and over travel stop so that's always good to see ceramic caged bearings let's see if we can reverse flick it oh yes we can yes we can you just got to keep your fingers down low i'm guessing if i put my fingers up here it won't be as easy 
No. You keep your fingers down here and you can reverse flick it with the left hand. Very cool. Let's check out the next one. We have beautiful titanium frame lock. Look at all that milling. And this one is the M671-TZ. Um, deep carry lock, or sorry, deep carry clip geared backspacer. Look at how big that stop pin is. Nice big size stop pin. Thumb stud deployment, great access to the lock bar, and we have a front flipper. Ooh, very fidgety. Very good action. Um, we have a beautiful Tonto blade here. It is a chunky little guy, but I can get a four finger grip even back here because my pinky can wrap around right there. So technically I can get a four finger grip. And then if I just take advantage of this, I really get a full four finger grip because right here, yeah, it's a little crushed. It's more of a three finger grip, but you can force, you know, by scooting your fingers up just a little bit. And this thing is, um, you know, not really thick, but it's thick enough to where you get a, um, a good grip on it. Access to the lock bar is just beautiful. I love that they put good access to the lock bars. Nice uh, front flipper. The, I like how the jimping goes basically all the way up to the top. Very easy to use. Yeah, very easy to use. The thumb studs are nice and big. And then we have 154 CM again. Awesome. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can see how the tip of the Tonto kind of drops down right there. So you're still going to be able to use it for a utility cut if you don't want to use your secondary tip. So you can use both tips pretty easily. Nice, robust blade. Very, very cool. Let's get to the next one. Last but not least, this is the M. 105TZ N690 steel titanium frame lock. Hoo, hoo, hoo. This one is oh so smooth. Oh, this thing is so smooth. It, I like this one the best. This one has um one, they have a budget version of this. They do have a budget knife of this in G10. Look at this titanium. How uh, they did that. And then the lock bar access is so generous and it's so soft in the hand. It's so, so soft. Very good action. The flipper tab is well above the center of the pivot. So you have a lot of leverage. Oh, listen to that detent. I love the coloring. We have a, a gold backspacer. And then the clip, there's a little hint of gold around the pivot. We have uh, probably a brass pivot collar. I'm not sure if, the, I don't think that this might be brass. I'm not sure if this is titanium or brass, but we have a steel lock bar insert and an over travel stop lock up. Very, very solid. And this thing has really nice acoustics. Very nice sound to this thing and beautiful drop point blade. This is going to be such a useful blade. You have amazing ergos. This is very, very comfortable. And with the, the, the jimping right here, you can really lock yourself in for those real strong push cuts. And then if you really need to get up close to the blade, you can easily do that because of the way the flipper tab is positioned. And then utility cuts are going to be fantastic because of the way this blade drops down. Beautiful satin finish, even though I do have fingerprints on it. Let's wipe that off a little bit so we can check out the satin finish really quick. Nice satin finish. This one feels very refined all the way around. The act, Like I said, the access to the lock bar is so good. It's a very, very drop shutty. A little bit of a lighter detent, but because of the leverage you get, it's very snappy. Nice centering. 
I can tell there's milling on the inside of this thing because it's very light. Yes, there is. So, yeah, this thing has a good weight to it. I really like this one. I like them all. I like them all. But this one's possibly my favorite one. But they are all amazing. There you guys go. Don't forget, everything will be linked down in the description for you guys. So, you guys can check out these models and other models from Rake. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.